Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's my favorite time of the month. It's time for the Babe Box. Okay, so this is the May 2021 Babe Box subscription from the Honey Bee Shop. If you have not checked out the Honey Bee Shop, what are you waiting for? Please go do that. I do have a code in the description box that will give you 15% off your first order at the Honey Bee Shop. However, I don't believe that counts toward the bait box, but definitely check out the Honey Bee Shop because they have some amazing products. And I'm going to also share a separate order I got from the Honey Bee Shop in a separate video. So first of all, I think it's really cool that this bubble mailer is this beautiful, like metallic teal color. This is what the bait box normally comes in, but this is so perfect for this theme. And I'm going to show you what the theme is. You ready? <laughs> ah! Okay. The theme is called Mermaid. Get it? Mermaid May 2.0. So apparently there was a 1.0, but that was before I was a subscriber. And I honestly don't remember what comes in this because I try not to look too much at like I try not to spoil it for myself because I get so excited when I open it and it has been several weeks since I looked at like when she did sneak peeks so this is a surprise to me as well I can already tell that oh my gosh okay let's start with the journaling card so we can see what all comes in this oh my gosh she is tossed by the waves but does not sink look how cute Look at her. Look at this voluptuous, beautiful babe. Okay. Oh, it's it doesn't have the thing that says what comes in it. Normally it's on the back side of one of these cards. Okay, well we are just gonna get started then. Where do we even begin? Oh my god, this pouch. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. So first of all, we have two skin tones on each card, if you didn't notice, which is amazing. I gotta get into this because, y'all, I am obsessed with all things jelly. And in one of the recent babe boxes, there was a jelly sticker book album thing. I can't remember what it's called. And I have been like just obsessed with it and oh. The smell is so nostalgic, I, I literally can't. This is so, this is so cute, look at it. A little pouch and it's clear so you can show off all your cute stuff. Y'all, come on, come on now. Um, So this is like so cute and I'm so excited to use this to hold my pens and washi. Yeah, I don't have any bag that is like this size and it's perfect. It's got a nice zipper. This is just, yeah, I'm obsessed. And I'm probably gonna end up putting all this stuff in it to kind of keep it, well, for here, let's get into this. So this is a keychain, obviously. And you know what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna clip it right on this zipper. Oh my gosh, the purple. Yes, we have this purple shell. And then we have a little pink star and then some little bubbles. How cute is that? Oh my God, this is adorable. Adorable. Okay, all right, so we're, oh, uh, and by the way, the heart clasp, like, are you serious? I have never seen that before. That is so cute. All right, so then you just put this on here. You can use it to easily pull the zipper, open and close. It is adorable. It's so cute and perfect for holding all your stuff. I love it. Love that. Love, love, love it. Oh my God. Oh, I do remember this. This, oh my God. Okay, y'all, I'm officially moving up in the world because 
I now own an actual washi cutter. Not just the old hotel key card, <laughs> but a washi cutter. <laughs> Check this out. So this is technically called a washi buddy. It is a washi cutter. And if you aren't aware, um, it just makes it easy when you're using washi that isn't perforated to, you know, just roll it out. Here, I'll show you. Let's give a shout out to this Simply Gilded Ghost Washi that I'm obsessed with. So, you know, you're putting your, your washi down on your planner and you go to tear it off. Well, instead of just doing it with your hands, which is what I did for probably the first two years that I was decorative planning, you do this and you just kind of put it there. And you rip it and it gives you a much cleaner cut makes it easier and yeah so i'm so happy to finally have a washi cutter um, i always said that they were a waste of money because you can just use literally like an old gift card literally anything um but this is very nice it's nice thick acrylic it's also beautiful and i'm so happy to have it now so i can keep it check it out right in here love it oh my gosh i always say by the way pro tip i always save these papers these back cards that come in these products because you can use these like in your journal um you can like cut a shape out with it with your cricut if you have one or your cutting machine um yeah i always save these they're too pretty to just throw in the garbage you, you can't you can't throw it in the garbage all right, so I'm going to sit that over there. Next, we're going to get into... Oh, my God, this washi. Let's get into the sticker book. Oh, my God. These colors are... Uh, these colors are everything. It's so funny because... I know, like, you know how a lot of people are obsessed with, like, mermaids or... You know, whatever it is. Mermaids, unicorns. Um, mermaids have never been, like... A thing that I like freak out over like oh my god mermaids like I think they're cool and I think they're pretty but it's never been like an obsession um and so when I saw that this was gonna be like mermaid themed I was kind of like uh I don't know like it it had to be a very specific type of thing for me to like it and I should know by now that Shan's like taste and her art style I pretty much always jive with like these colors y'all I mean, okay, so first of all, this on the front is so pretty. I mean, how perfect is this? And like, I'm not a big summer person, okay? I, if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, shout out, play with Cass on Instagram, be sure to uh, follow me there. Um, I talk about how much I hate being hot, I hate the summer, but the only thing I like about summer is swimming. And uh, this really just like makes me excited to decorate my planner for the summer, which is something I never have. Because every summer it's like, oh, I just feel like I don't have stickers and, and things that fit with like summer in my planner. So I pretty much just do whatever. And this is just going to be perfect. So again, we have this same quote that's on the um, journaling card. And it says she is tossed by the waves, but does not sink. And then we have... Um, three of those in all different skin tones. And then we have three of the mermaids here in different skin tones. Oh my gosh, this lighthouse one. I love it. By the way, can we just... I need to point this out. Shout out to the belly roll. Shout out to the belly roll. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, look at her. Look at her. It says magical. Look at, look at her. Is she not a queen? Okay, I need to send this sticker to queen. And oh, look at her. Y'all, these colors are just... I hope the camera picks it up. Like, they're just... I, I can't. This is like... This is one of my favorite stickers. This is beautiful. Oh, man. Look at these. Look at these teeny little boxes. These are everything. Very functional. Very cute. Love this. I love it. I just love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bubbles. I love them. Oh my god. And they have hollow accents. Stop. 
dude these are oh my god these are beautiful <sighs> look at these date covers oh my god they're both really cute but i love this one oh my god the date covers oh and look Oh my God, just plain little header stickers. I love this. I always, I've been wanting that. Um, Cause you have your to do and then sometimes you just want just a plain sticker to cover up a header. And then maybe, you know, you have, you already have a sticker to put on top of it or you want to write on top of it. Um, yeah, that's going to be very useful for me. I appreciate that. And then we have our little mini icons. We get these every month. I typically, um, I don't use a lot of these. I I definitely always like have my ones I always go for the camera, uh, the paper clip, the little, you know, sparkle <laughs> thing, the little uh, money for payday, the doctor's appointment, um, the game, I mean the game controller, obviously. So there's a lot that I use, but there's also a lot I never really touch. And I need to remember that because I need to gift them in some future happy mail. Oh my gosh, this is, oh my God. Okay, so we have our dates and these pair with these. So if you see here, you have the little circle to put your date and you put that sticker right in there and then you can also put it in these circles. Um, so yeah, those are perfect. We have little hydration trackers for tracking your water, which I always need. Um, little meal stickers to put, you know, what you're making for dinner. This for payday or bills. You got your functional stickers here, laundry, trash day, do the chores, payday. I love, love, love that. I love these little um, flag stickers. Oh, these are awesome. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, so last month for April, we did not get one of the planner cards, which was fine because we get one pretty much every month. And I've seen people doing all different types of things with these. And I think with this one, I want to do what I, I believe I, it was on Shan's stories from Honey Beach Shop. I'm pretty sure Shan was the one who laminated this and made it just like a bookmark. I might do that with this one because it is so pretty. Like, it, and again, it says magical. Like, also these, I know this is like, so this is the Hobonichi kit. Um, for Hobonichi planners, I don't use a Hobonichi, so, um, but I make them work for all different situations, all different planner layouts. Um, my passion planner, sometimes I use these. In the left-hand column of my blackout lights planner action inserts, there's a whole column on the left that's just blank and you can do whatever you want with it. And so, like, if I want to just have, like, an overview of all my appointments and events and things like that for that week, Sometimes I'll just put this and then I have the days of the week and I can write that right in there. Um, so yeah, the this is a Hobonichi, you know, it's size for Hobonichi, but you can use it for, I mean, I use these all the time in my catch-all, in my passion planner. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at her. Oh my God. The detail in her hair though. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, these are so pretty. These colors are perfect. Oh, there's another sheet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm so glad we get another one of these because she is so beautiful. The freaking jellyfish and the seahorse. I'm all about it. Yes. Yeah, so that is the sticker book. Uh, absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. I say that pretty much every month, but I mean, the thing I love about these sticker books. I know I've talked about this before, that I'm a sticker book person, not a sticker kit person. Just, just personally, I am cheap and I always feel like I'm getting such a good value with a sticker book. Sticker kits, I will, uh, you know, very rarely I will splurge on them if it's something I'm like, oh my god, I have to have that. Um, but sticker books are just such a good value and with these that you get every month with the babe box, like, it's not like you just do one one week and you're done. Like I have ones from back in like October of 2020 that I'm still using stickers from. Like you get so many and you get just a lot of options. I mean, you get two date covers. So that's at least two weeks for just the date covers. Um, but I use these several, several times. And I think that makes it such a great value. 
All right, so something else I love about the bait box is I know I'm gonna get new washi every single month. And this is pretty much the only washi I buy. Like very rarely I'll go out and buy like just washi separately. But I just love that I get this every month and then I don't have to worry about it. And they're always so beautiful. Obviously they're themed with the rest of the box, but I do use them like just on their own as well. Even when I'm like not using the stickers that go with it. Um, look how pretty that is. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. This is making me so excited to set up my monthlies for the summer which again is so weird because i'm not a summer person but like this gives me like really good vibes and i love it oh my god look at this this is so pretty with this gradient y'all yes oh these are just so beautiful i love it love 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 i can't wait to use these oh my god okay let's do the papers and we'll do the die cuts last so the papers okay if you've been on my channel before which if you haven't if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you have been here and you just realize oh crap i'm not subscribed also be sure you hit the subscribe button really helps out the channel and i really appreciate it um so if you've been here before, you've heard me talk about these papers. These papers are one of my favorite things about this subscription box. And they, I, I know I say this all the time, but like, it's such a good value. Like if you are on a super tight budget, and you know, everybody's budget is different. If you're on a super tight budget and you're like, yeah, I don't have money to buy like, all these shops are doing new releases and they're coming out with new washi and sticker kits and all this and you're like i can't i can't drop 50 bucks on an order and then 30 bucks and 20 bucks like i don't, I don't have that money this is 30 dollars a month and i know some people that's out of their budget and i understand but like this is 30 dollars a month and you get so much and that's just what i appreciate about it and it's always different stuff a sticker album, a pouch with a keychain, a pen. You always get washi, you get journaling cards, you get a bunch of die cuts. You get a sticker book, like, okay, I know. Oh my good Lord, okay. <sighs> Guys, these papers, I can't, okay. <sighs> okay, first of all, this is a piece of acetate. I love acetate. It has the little shells and little sparkles and stars and hearts. And it is so, it's so beautiful. But are you ready for this? Colored vellum, a freaking pink and purple gradient with, oh my God, no. Oh. Okay. So that's your vellum and your acetate. We got some sea stars, some starfish. What are they called? Starfish. Oh my God. And that's the other thing about these. I love that these are two-sided because I use these to make dividers. I will link up in the cards and in the description. I, um, I use these very, very frequently to make dividers for my catch-all planner because I have a disc mount planner so I can, you know, put stuff in it and pull it out and do whatever I want with it. And I also use these in my traveler's notebooks. I just have to, you know, trim them down to the appropriate size for whichever planner I am, you know, using it for or notebook. And it just gives me so much variety and they're two sided. So I don't have to worry about the back just being blank or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I love them. And then you get this, which is so pretty. Look at, oh my gosh. This kind of makes me want to do my whole, um, my catch-all B60N that's been kind of like sitting there unused for a couple weeks. I need to get back in it. Um, that makes me want to like set, set it up with this, like use this to kind of like give it a refresh. Cause I'm just, you know, 
even though like you love certain patterns and things that you made like sometimes you just you see it so much you need to like you need something new so i think i'm gonna do my my uh tn in this pattern oh my god so these are vertical which is so so nice thank you because there's a lot of papers that i have this would be a good example there's a lot of papers that i have where i'm going to make a divider for my catch-all and like for this all i need to do because my catch-all is classic happy player size or like nine disc dismount planner i'm just going to need to trim a little bit off of it and it's good to go because the pattern is vertical whereas with this if I need to make it for my um, for my catch-all, I can't do it with this because this is eight and a half by eleven, and it would need to be like this, and then the pattern goes the wrong way. So I love that we get vertical sheets, and then there's two obviously because it's double sided. So yes, this is very very exciting. It gives me a lot of ideas, and I'll definitely be making some more videos here on my channel involving that. All right, y'all, down to the wire, down to what is arguably my favorite part, the die cuts. So these die cuts are usually my favorite part of the bait box because of the variety, because you get so many, and because these are made of a waterproof paper. So my like water bottle and my coffee, like my turvis tumbler, like they are like, plastered in these because they truly are waterproof i've had them on for months and no issues now i do hand wash those cups um the owner shan the owner of the honeybee shops she says that you can put it in the dishwasher but she recommends against it because with like hollow accents it can really mess it up and i would just rather not risk that um but i also put these i use them in my planner all the time I use them in my dividers when I'm laminating stuff. I use them as photo props when I'm taking pictures for Instagram. Like, yeah, I use them in a lot of different ways. So we're just gonna kind of go through these. And again, you always get a nice variety. If you can hear those birds outside my window, like they are going crazy. I know you hear that. <laughs> okay, so we have some cute little starfish. I love the purple ones. And they have little hearts in the middle. Aren't they cute? For now, I'm gonna utilize my little pouch here. And then we have some of these beautiful hearts that have like fish scales on them or like, you know, mermaid tail. Very, very pretty. This, dude, these Stingray ones are so, oh my god. This might be my favorite design in this whole thing. Like, look at that. And I love that there's a big one and a small one. Like, I just, oh, I love it. I love the jellyfish. Look how pretty. Some more starfish. Let's go. We got some little turquoise ones and a big pink one oh my god these are so pretty oh, look at that look at that look how big this die cut is too this is awesome oh my god this is so exciting look like look at that y'all i can't it's too much it's just too much. We got some more shells here. Oh my God. And what I love about these two, I know I've said this before, is that you get so many that it's so easy to like share with friends. So if you have a friend who, you know, likes stickers and stuff, or maybe they just like a particular theme, like maybe you have a friend who is just obsessed with mermaids maybe they're not even into planners or, or notebooks or anything but they just like mermaids you could share these with them and they would be so excited um so that's one of my favorite things as well oh my god this pearl though look at that and i love 
I love, love, love that you get three skin tones. Again, good for sharing, but also good for different, you know, for diversity in my planner. Um, I use all three skin tones in my planner and I just love it. They're all so beautiful and like, look at them. And I love too that there's always a variety and like, you know, these girls are obviously a little more voluptuous. Um, but then, you know, this girl's more thin, uh, you know, for month to month, there's, there's just different like body types and I just, I love it. Whereas, you know, some other brands tend to, you know, have girls that all look the same. I would love to eventually see some guys uh, in here as well. That would be really cool. Dude, these are so, oh my God. Oh my God, my favorite design, look at it. I can't do anything with these nails. There we go. Oh my God. Yeah, Queen's getting that one. Oh my God, they're so pretty. And we have another oyster with a pearl. This lipstick, are you kidding? Oh my God, and then you have this again that we saw on the stickers. These are beautiful. All right, y'all, so let's do a quick recap. We have our two journaling cards. Pro tip, I like to laminate these if you have a laminator at home, uh, just to kind of keep them protected from, you know, getting bent and getting stuff on them. I like to laminate them. And another pro tip, I keep them in this little photo album I got at Dollar Tree because it's the perfect size. So I keep all my journaling cards in here as well as it's a good place to store like little die cuts and stuff. Yeah, so just another pro tip. All right, so we have the journaling cards, the sticker book, which is beautiful and I'm so excited to use. We have this jelly pouch, so cute. It has a keychain with it. I love how soft this is. Um, I put the washi buddy in here as well as the die cuts. Our little washi buddy, lest we forget our washi tape. I'm gonna put this all in here together. Yo, I made it fit so you can actually fit the 10 page sticker book in here. It's a little tight. Um, and I do keep mine in the, there's a sticker book, a jelly sticker book album that was in one of the past bait boxes. So I will definitely slide that right in there. And that, that's gonna look so good with this because they're both jelly. And then we have the papers and the vellum and acetate. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like I said, I think I'm going to use this theme to redo my um, traveler's notebook. I feel like that'll just be nice for something different. It goes with the season. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's definitely not something I would normally gravitate toward. Um, and that's what I, another thing I love about the bait box is that it really has kind of helped me branch out of my comfort zone because my comfort zone is stuff like this. That's my comfort zone, which is amazing. And I love this stuff, but I, sometimes it's hard for me to just like branch out and try new things. And sometimes I feel like, you know, I feel like if I'm given stuff like this, I won't know how to make it look good in my planner but like with this I feel like it's the you just get everything you need to make your planner pretty and to make you excited to open up your planner or your notebook or your journal or whatever it is and that's the goal right <laughs> that really is the goal so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe if you have not already Again, it really helps out the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for 250 subscribers. Whoop, whoop. I feel like we just hit 150 and did the 150 subscriber giveaway. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to do the next giveaway at 500. So definitely uh, share this channel with a friend. Um, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Again, I'll have those videos I mentioned linked in the description. 
Uh, I have a ton of content here on my channel and much more coming. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about the bait box subscription, I, I am not an affiliate. I am not sponsored by the Honeybee Shop. I just genuinely love it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to follow the Honeybee Shop and the Honeybee Shop Babe Box Instagram accounts. I'll have that in the description as well. Again, full disclosure, I do have a referral link for the Honeybee Shop. Not for the Babe Box, but for the Honeybee Shop. If you would like to order something like this. I do have a referral link in the description that would get you 15% off your order. And then I get a small kickback in the form of points so that when I place my next order, I will get a discount on my order. So I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Check out all the links in the description, including my podcast, my Patreon, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.